Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. Hope you're having a great day. So today I'm at the King of Prussia Mall. While I'm outside the parking lot, I'm going to go inside and try out the new Louis Vuitton fragrance that came out. I'll post a picture here because I'm not really sure how to pronounce it and I don't want to butcher the name. Nevertheless, it has notes of oud, cinnamon, and honey. So hopefully this fragrance is a banger. Every time Louis Vuitton comes out with a fragrance, I'm kind of excited to try it out and give people's opinions how i feel about the fragrance if you try a new fragrance leave a comment down below so let's go inside and check it out and if there's any other new releases i'll let you guys know in this video as well hope everybody's doing well let's check out the new louis vuitton fragrance Hey guys, I'm back. So I went inside the King of Prussia Mall and I went to the Louis Vuitton Boutique. Shout out to Linda, the sales rep. She was really nice and kind. Um, telling you something about their new fragrances. And I knew about some of them because I told her I had a few at home. So I'll leave her information down below if you want to buy any fragrances or ask any fragrance related questions. Okay, so this fragrance here, she gave me a nice sample. So I appreciate the sample of the fragrance. This is the fourth oud fragrance from the lineup. So this fragrance is called Flirt de Dessert. So this fragrance here basically is a oud and rose combo. A bottle is going to run you about $365 for a 100 ml bottle, and they are refillable. And you can get a 200 ml bottle, it's going to run you $535. Currently, that bottle is sold out, so I guess a lot of people like that fragrance. Nevertheless, I have it spread on my skin here. So it opens up a little bit fresh in the opening. It's not, I wouldn't call it bergamot or a citrus, something like that, but it's kind of fresh and airy, so it's not going to be so aggressive in the opening, but you do get a blast of that oud and rose combo after a few seconds of the freshness that oud and rose combo right in your face so if you like oud and rose combo type of fragrances you're gonna like this here definitely pick up little hints of honey and cinnamon after that initial blast so it is nice but it's not a heavy cinnamon or honey base on my skin but i'll have to wear it a few more times and see maybe it'll change but my first reaction on my skin it was a burst of the oud and the rose combo with a nice fresh airiness about it. I don't pick up much jasmine in the fragrance and I don't pick up much orange blossom. Oud is very nice and rich, heavy quality oud. So if you're used to the other oud fragrances from the lineup, because there's three other oud based fragrances, you're going to get a similar vibe of oud in all the fragrances. There's nothing, you're not going to not get oud in this fragrance here. So if you're not a fan of oud, you may not like this fragrance here. If you like the note of rose with oud combo, I think you might enjoy this type of fragrance. But it's not one that you think you're going to wear it and be like, oh, I'm getting comments. I think I recently told Jerome, I was like, I don't think you're going to like this type of fragrance because it's not your style. Because it's not a fresh, overall fresh fragrance. But there's a nice bit of freshness in it where you could wear this fragrance all year round as a oud and rose combo. So it's not going to offend anybody. I'm not saying anybody's going to like it, but you're not going to go in a room and people are going to think that you stink wearing this type of oud-based fragrances. It's not a heavy barnyard fragrance. If people think of oud like that or stanky, it's nothing like that. It's more subtle, kind of calm. It doesn't seem heavy on my skin. Uh, um, the initial spray was heavy in the opening, and then it did calm down some. So take that for what it's worth. So far, I am liking the fragrance on my skin. The lady was telling me people did come and buy a few bottles today. Other people came in and bought 100 ml bottles of it. I think she said two people bought it. So I'm, I'm excited to try this fragrance out and see if I like it. And I'm going to go home and see if Kelly likes it as well. Maybe I do an update at the end of the video see if Kelly likes it. Because if she likes it and I enjoy it the next couple of days, I'll buy a bottle. Because I do like Oud and Rose Combo fragrance. I have Oud Espahan, but you know, I do like Louis Vuitton fragrance. I love their bottle presentation. And shout out to my friend Louisiana Fragrance. You know, he likes Louis Vuitton as well. They are pricey. So I would suggest you go to a Louis Vuitton boutique um, and spray it on your skin and see if you like. Because this is not one I can tell you to go blind by. Because you may not even like Oud or Rose Combo. The honey and cinnamon sounds great. But it doesn't seem heavy prominent. Like it's very light. And I'm like, hmm, I wish it was more heavier. I feel like... They have a notes in there, but the root, the rose and oud is the whole combo that kind of covers the rest of the other amazing notes in this fragrance on my skin. But I only wore it one day, so let me wear it a few more days. And if I feel like it's worth buying, I will have an updated video about me buying the bottle and I'll do a giveaway. But right now I'm gonna give it a I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten for right now on my skin. If you guys tried the new Louis Vuitton flirt dessert. Let me know down below in the comment section. Do you like it or love it? I do like the cool presentation as well because I got a little sample here and it has a name of it on it, which is pretty cool. So you know what fragrance you're talking about. 
Hey everybody, I'm here. I'm having Kelly Smother fragrance now before I end the video. This is an update. This is the new Louis Vuitton for dessert. So no breakdown as toner. There's honey, there's cinnamon, there's oud, there's rose, there's jasmine, there's orange blossom, there's ambroxan, um, and there's some ambrette seeds. So how do you feel about the fragrance so far? I just sprayed it on a test strip for... It smells good. Okay. Flirt dessert. <laughs> it's supposed to be like, a des uh, like the desert or whatever. Something like that. So it's a, it's there's it's four not, fragrances in the lineup. It's not it's not dessert. It's desert. Well, it's I'll show you how it's spelled. One S or two S's. There's two S's. Dessert. Anyway, so <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. One there's only one S. <laughs> okay, desert. So anyway, so do you think it leans feminine or male, or do you think it could be unisex? This is the fourth flanker of the oud based fragrances. I could see someone saying it's more feminine. Okay. Because of um, the rose and the oud, or you think it's because of the... Or how do you feel about it? Maybe, maybe that rose. Okay. And it's it's like a little bit on the sweeter side. Mm -hmm. I really like it. Cool. Um, Something that you would wear? Yeah, I would wear it. Okay. Well, I'll have her spray a little bit on her skin and see if she likes it. We're already on camera, so there we go. Spray a little bit on her skin. Shout out sure. to the Linda, the sales associate, Louis Vuitton, for giving me a sample. Oh... If I pronounce it wrong, I'll leave it on the I'm not worrying about it. Fleur du Desert is all French. Mm. I I now want a fragrance that's called Flirt Dessert, though. That I, that would smell awesome. <laughs> um, Fleur du Desert. <laughs> okay, so that makes more sense with, like, rose and stuff. So that means, like, flower of the desert. Mm. I took a little bit of French. Um... Uh, yeah, I think it smells good on me. What do you think? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it smells good. I um, definitely get a little bit of that, like, a musky feel on your, on your skin. And, and I feel like, and I, when I, my beginning of the video, I said it's kind of a little bit fresh, too. But it's not like a fresh fragrance, like bergamot. It's kind of like, no, a, you kinda call like a, fre a fresh a fragrance. Fresh, there's like a freshness about it. There, yeah. But it's not like a bergamot or lemon or orange like that. But it's kind of fresh. Where I feel like you could wear this probably... Any time, I think. I don't think it's going to offend anybody. What do you think? Would it offend somebody at your job or work if you no. work? No. No, I think this is a good one. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's... Uh, it doesn't strike me as... I mean, I think when you hear desert, you probably think like summer. Mm -hmm. But I think you could pull this off any time. Do you think it would be a cool, like, maybe date fragrance to wear or no? Definitely. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. Definitely. So, from 1 to 10, on a test trip... What would you give it, and one out of ten would you give it on your skin? I think I'd give it a nine on a test strip. It's ever so slightly different on me. Okay, on um, your skin and on a test strip. Okay. But I, I think still nine. Nine. Okay. Yeah, I don't think enough to change it. All right, thanks, y'all. Appreciate. It. Here's your feedback from Kelly. Thank you guys for watching another video. If you like this type of content, don't forget to share your support by liking the video. Click that red subscribe button and click the bell icon for future videos and giveaway now as well. Be safe, everyone, and I'll catch you in my next video. Peace.